um, <laughs> conditions right now. We got some storms popping off. Actually, we got some gusty winds coming into the Albuquerque area. Some rain trying to sneak in as well. Uh, some 50 mile per hour winds are possible in the southwestern part of the state. Wind flying out of a storm to our west is making its way, and you can kind of see the radar picking up dust here. That little line flying, that is some strong wind, so careful for that. Also, as we back up a bit, we can see strong storms to our, to our south. Lightning included with this, possibly some heavy downpours. They can possibly hold together and make their way into the metro. So some rain is possible. A lot of them have been going over the mountains and just hanging out there. But uh, we will keep a close eye on that. Also, a flood advisory for areas near the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, kind of near Nambe, Upper Nambe Village, could see some arroyos filling up and some streams. So if you do see a flooded waterway, do not try to cross it. We have had some heavy rain in the area, and we will continue through the evening hours. Also, as we look in south northwest New Mexico, some strong storms uh, starting to take shape with some lightning involved. So Farmington, some rain in the future for you guys. And then also, if we look at southwest New Mexico, some spotty activity over the mountains. Most of the activity is hanging out on the western side of the state. As we look, our high pressure is anchored to the east, and the storms are kind of rotating around it. Areas of southeast New Mexico are kind of directly under the high pressure, and it's squashing most of the activity. That will change, though, as we get into the next few days. We will see our high start to slide over to the east, and that will kind of shift the focus of our storms for, for, for Sunday. Excuse me. We're expecting scattered storms in the areas you see here, mainly starting in the mountains, but we will see them possibly drifting into valley locations like we have today. So that's what's on tap for Sunday. One concern we will have is uh, flooding issues, especially in areas uh, that had burning, like the Pacheco fire and the Las Conchas fire. So we could see some flooding and we are under a flood watch for the Jemez and Sangre de Cristo area for Sunday. So we'll keep a close eye on that, especially the burn areas, which are more susceptible to the flooding. A lot of the um, debris on the ground has burnt up and is gone, and you can get floods coming down a mountain where boulders roll down, uh, and it can be a real nasty mess. As we get into Monday and beyond, though, we're going to expand our coverage of the storms, and we have the best chance for rain in Albuquerque that we've probably had in a long time. I'm thinking maybe October. It's been very, very dry and we're looking forward to that. As we look at temperatures right now, 97, it's hot out there. Southwest winds at 15 miles per hour. Relative humidity is at 12. You can see that rain cooled air over Gallup if you compare Farmington at 91 and then 74 in Gallup. So a nice contrast there. 90 in Taos and piping hot in the southeast. 100 in Roswell, 102 in Carlsbad. Let's do the numbers here. Northwest New Mexico, mostly cloudy. Thunderstorms for tomorrow and continuing into this evening, as a matter of fact. As we get into the next few days, even better chances. We're going to increase the cloud cover and our uh, quantity of rain, hopefully. So Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday in the Four Corners is looking pretty good as far as the rain is concerned, and we definitely uh, need it in that area. Southwest New Mexico, similar day to what we had today, kind of storms popping off in the mountains, but they could drift to other locations. 97 in Alamogordo, 93 in Glenwood, 87 in Silver City, partly sunny out there, and seven-day forecast shows rain on the rise in Silver City for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And as we look at the southeastern part of the state, we're looking at another hot day, 99 in Roswell, 100 in Artesia, 89 in Rodoso. Isolated storms are are possible. Best chances to be in the mountains, though. Seven-day forecast looks like this. Even Roswell, better chances for rain as that high does shift and pump moisture into the eastern part of the state, too, although not the best chances in Roswell. Northeast New Mexico, isolated storms for tomorrow. 89 in Las Vegas, 101 in Tucum Carry. Seven-day forecast in Las Vegas shows us really turning up the juice as we get into Monday, Tuesday, and beyond. We'll see temperatures drop just a hair, too, with more cloud cover and rain cooled air in the scattered, in the scattered mountains. In the northern mountains, scattered thunderstorms tomorrow, flooding chances, especially areas that had fire. 90 in Santa Fe, 93 in Española, 81 in Chama. 70 forecast in Santa Fe shows temperatures dropping, clouds increasing, and also uh, those rain chances. As we look at the East Mountains, rain continuing this evening, and then again tomorrow, scattered th storms, partly cloudy, temperatures hovering in the upper 80s to low 90s. Downtown Albuquerque, 94. We're looking at 97 in Berlin. Spot storms for tomorrow, but really the best chances are going to be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and boy, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Thank you, Ian. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at tonight's primetime lineup here on KRQE. Chaos airs at 7.